Yo, what's happening, guys and girls? How the devil are we? Shanksy here, and today Warframe has dropped yet another update. Uh, so what we're going to do, guys, is a quick recap of the patch notes while having a little look around the updated uh, Planes of Eidolon. So we're going to go over the uh, patch notes. I'm going to cover basically what I feel is important. Don't get me wrong, if you're a proper hardcore player uh, and you want to see all the patch notes, I will link them down below for you as well. But if, like me, you're a bit of a hardcore casual, then uh, I will cover the most important things for you. So without further ado, let's get into the action. So this update brings us one new melee weapon, the Korudu, which is a uh, fist and glo uh, fist and foot weapon, a little bit like the Kogaki. At first impressions, without leveling it up, it looks like a bit of a crit monster with um, a base level of 31% crit. 9% status, so we can we can maybe make a little bit of a hybrid, but a bit of a crit monster nonetheless. Now, the main part of this update is the Plains of Eidolon has received a massive visual overhaul. Uh, they've added a massive amount of improvements, including texture terrain, um, dynamic lighting, richly detailed trees, like really beautiful foliage. Like, check this out out now from what i can work out i have had a little look uh, around and it is only uh skin deep so none of the caves or anything like that haven't had an update but the foliage the lighting the reflection on the water everything like that looks absolutely mustard look at the sun there look at the sun blinding us and then hiding behind a tree and we're good as gold well impressed with that they have also added floofs you know it. If you don't know what a floof is, I will leave a link in the description below to my guide on floof hunting. But you can now trap the animals in the plains uh, with Echo Laws. So you're going to need to pick up new Echo Laws from the plains. And you can go out there and uh, capture some more little floofs. Have yourself a little floof tea party back at your shoot. Hello, Mr. Floof. Hello, Mr. Floof. All that type of good stuff, you live in the dream. Of course, that's what you do when no one's watching. I know, I know, you all have floof tea parties. There is also some new enemies inbound as well. The Tusk Thumpers. Now, I haven't encountered one yet, but reports of a new Grenier machine have spread to see us. Vayhek has destroyed Tusk Thumpers. Mobile, mobile defense platforms that are just as efficient as they are deadly. Be prepared to encounter three different types of menacing thumpers of increasing size and difficulty. The Tusk Thumper, the Tusk Thumper Ball, and the Tusk Thumper Duma. Without a vulnerability to use to your advantage, you'll need to identify and expose their weak spots to take them down as quickly as possible. Take too long and they'll release reinforcement drones. So I'm super excited about that, checking out the new enemy type. Uh, as I said, I haven't been able to find, find one yet. We did have a good little scout around the plains, uh, as you can see, but unfortunately, couldn't find them. So, fingers crossed, we'll be able to pick them up soon. So, that is all for this particular update. Not many patch notes, to be fair but a massive, massive rework of the planes. And I've got to be honest, I think it's looking really, really good. Uh, I'm excited to try out these as new enemies wherever I can find them. Um, but overall, the texture quality looks absolutely gorgeous. I've got to be, I don't know if it's going to make me spend any more time in the planes though, guys. What, what do you think? With, with this new UI, um, are you more inclined to spend time in the planes, or does it still not really do it for you? Um, I'm hoping with the new enemies, they will now bring some new um, bounties out there as well. So if they bring some new bounties, bring some new mission types in the area, hopefully that might reignite my passion to go in the planes. But at the moment, 
even with even with this beautiful UI update, I don't know if this is enough for me to to get out there and start grinding. I think the only time I really go to the planes nowadays is if I'm searching for a particular relic that's in rotation or with the night wave if I need to get eight bounties done in a row. Other than that, there's very little out there for me. How do you guys feel about it? Please let me know down in the comments below. I'm intrigued to see what you guys think of the open world areas. And don't forget, if you haven't played Warframe in a little while, Equinox Prime is here as well, the master of duality. Equinox Prime uh, came into play on all platforms the other day. This is worth mentioning as well, guys. The planes update at the moment is only live on PC, but will be coming to console soon. However, Equinox Prime came out the other day with the Stradivar Prime, which is a nice little assault rifle, and the Thibodeau Prime, which is a fairly crazy uh, staff weapon that I've got a funny feeling once I get older one, I'm going to be able to do some quite interesting statistic builds with that little bad boy. So Equinox Prime is here, uh, the Stradivar Prime, the Thibodeau Prime, and the Planes Rework. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys are excited to get out into the planes, face these new enemies. Are you going to be capturing the floofs for your little floof tea party? It's all right. No judgment here, baby. No judgment here. <laughs> but guys, that is it for me today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope you like the looks of what's to come in Warframe. I feel like they're heading the right way with these open areas. I just feel like there needs to be more reason to play it. You know, more more missions, better rewards, something like that. I don't know. Because at the moment, it just doesn't, doesn't float me boat or tickle me pickle. But such is life. Uh, guys, if you have liked the video, please don't forget, drop it a like. Leave a comment down below. If you want to see more of uh, Warframe content like this, please let me know. Because we are coming up with loads of game reviews, loads more Warframe content. And uh, if you want to really go above and beyond to help support the channel, please hit that subscribe button, turn them notifications on. And until next time, I'll see you on the flip side. Peace!